Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm into waterproof headphones recently as I started taking swimming seriously and I wanted to find the perfect pair of headphones to take with me into the water. That's why I've been testing and using the JBL Endurance Dive for a while now and if you don't want to watch the whole video, let me save you some time by saying this right now. These JBLs are far from being the best option for swimmers. They might be cheaper than some others and there are a few things I like about them but the list of negatives are way longer than the positives. But let's see the details now. So the JBL Endurance Dives are part of JBL's Endurance line of wireless sport earphones. The Endurance series offer multiple choices for people leading an active lifestyle, such as the Endurance Peak, Run and Jump. These are all waterproof earphones with slightly different design and functionality, but the only one that doubles up as an MP3 player is the Endurance Dive. And that extra feature makes it interesting for swimmers because regular Bluetooth headphones cannot be used for swimming due to the fact that radio signals don't work underwater, so you need to be able to play music straight from your headphones if you want to take them with you in the pool or the sea. So there is a 1GB of storage on board here and there is also a built-in MP3 player. The headphones are IPX7 rated so they are waterproof, but this is somewhat expected from a pair of earphones named Dive after all. JBL says it's okay to use them in seawater, but it's highly recommended to properly rinse them in fresh water every time after using them in the sea because salty water can cause damage in the long run. In terms of their design I like the materials JBL used. It's this soft rubber all over the earphones including the neckband which did not cause any chafing. The build quality is excellent and I like this popping green color a lot as well but what I don't like is wearing the earphones longer than let's say 30 to 40 minutes. While the twist lock and flex soft technology sound fancy and give you a good seal and a secure fit even when wearing the earphones under your swim cap, I find the JBLs a bit uncomfortable for longer periods of time. And I feel like there is quite a narrow window in terms of how you can find the perfect fit when twisting the earphones into their final position, so it takes some time putting them on. If you miss the perfect spot or twist it too much or too less, it can affect the sound and the fit big time. I also tried the earphones for running and regardless how tight the seal was when I put them on, I had to readjust the buds a couple of times as they kept getting loose all the time. But there are three different sized ear tips in the package so you might get lucky with the endurance dives in terms of their fit and there is also a nice rubber carry pouch that comes with the headphones which is a nice touch from JBL. It's not easy to tuck the earphones in at first but with a bit of practice you can get the hang of it and the pouch can be quite handy if you carry your earphones around a lot. Moving on to the power hook technology, which JBL seems to be very proud of, but it is just a gimmick in my opinion and I found it interesting only for a couple of minutes. Power hook is basically the way you turn the headphones on and off. There are magnets in both hooks and if you open them up the headphones turn on and if you snap them together again they will turn off. The only problem is that the magnets are too strong so they close immediately if you let go of the earbuds for a second, so the only way to keep the headphones turned on is to put them in your ears. On one hand it's quite a clever way of saving battery life, but on the other hand it can be annoying sometimes and it does not offer any kind of flexibility in terms of switching the earphones on and off. I wish they had the good old on off button at the bottom of one of the earbuds instead, but maybe it's just me being old school. Let's talk about the battery next which can last up to 8 hours according to JBL and based on my experience the endurance dives can deliver on that front in both MP3 and Bluetooth modes. Charging takes about 2 hours through the micro USB port at the bottom of the right earbud. There is no USB-C but there is quick charging which means that in 10 minutes you can get enough juice to use the headphones for 1 hour which should be enough for most beginner or intermediate swimmers out there. You can use any micro USB cable for charging the headphones, but you can only copy MP3 files from your computer to the onboard storage using JBL's own USB cable. I couldn't make file transfer work with any other cable at hand, so keep that in mind and try not to lose the short orange cable that comes with the headphones. Copying MP3 files takes us to music playback, which is a very basic operation with not too many options. Play, 
pause and track controls are available through the touch controls on the right earbud. There is only one playback mode which plays songs in alphanumerical order. So there are no shuffle, album or folder modes and playlists are not supported either. As far as I can tell only mp3s are supported up to 320 kilobits per second, no other formats whatsoever. It's not a big deal for me as I would convert my higher quality flag files to mp3s to save some storage space anyway but it is strange not to have any other format options other than mp3. Things don't get any better when switching to Bluetooth mode as the headphones use Bluetooth 4.2 and the only codec they support is SBC. No aptX here and not even AAC is listed on JBL's website. You can make your own conclusions but to me is rather disappointing. At least the Bluetooth connection is stable and I didn't experience any lip sync issues when watching YouTube videos or Netflix. Again, I personally don't find these JBLs comfortable enough to watch a full movie wearing them but your mileage may vary. You can of course make phone calls in Bluetooth mode but there is no app support and no voice assistant support of any kind either. I don't mind the lack of Siri or Google Assistant but app support should be default these days. There is a JBL headphones app available for both Android and iOS but the endurance dive is not listed amongst the supported models and it does not even recognize it when connected to the phone so no app control or extra settings at all. But at least there are touch controls which can control playback, volume and phone calls and also you can switch between Bluetooth and MP3 modes using the touch controls. Volume, playback and phone controls work perfectly fine as long as you are in Bluetooth mode and your hands are dry. Wet hands render the touch controls unreliable and basically useless. Also, you better off locking the controls before swimming because water can mess up everything quite quickly if you don't. The only problem is that as soon as you lock the touch controls, the only way to unlock them is to close the power hook which essentially turns off the earphones. You cannot change tracks or even volume when swimming unless you stop, turn off the headphones and turn them back on and this whole process takes like at least 20 seconds. It's not the most convenient way of changing tracks and volume to say the least. Sound quality is another disappointing aspect of the JBL Endurance dives. Regardless of the mode you use them in, the sound is rather mediocre. No details in the highs, no life in the mids and even though there is a lot of energy at the lower end of the spectrum, there is no punch, there is no kick, just some mushy, blurry, bloomy bass. And the minute the earphones get a bit loose, you lose the bass immediately. So the sound quality is only okay for swimming but I wouldn't consider them using on land as a pair of general purpose headphones. To wrap it up, the JBL Endurance Dive is not the latest 2020 model, so the lack of USB-C, app support, voice assistant, a high quality Bluetooth codec and active noise cancelling might be forgivable, but if you need all the bells and whistles that today's modern wireless earphones can offer, then you are better off looking somewhere else entirely. And again, the sound quality is only okay for swimming, the touch controls have serious limitations, the long term comfort is not the best and both the MP3 player and the Bluetooth features lack some basic functions. But if you like the colorful design, the great build quality, the touch controls, the bass heavy sound and the good battery life or you simply just need a waterproof MP3 player for your swims, the JBL Endurance Dive is one of the cheaper options you can find on the market. Personally, I would rather spend a bit more money and get the Sony NWWS 623s or the Aftershocks X trainers, but we are talking about at least a 50% jump in price in these cases, so that's something to keep in mind too. I guess that's all I can say about the JBL Endurance Dive. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions about these headphones, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, see you next time.